Hello, I'm Zach Otta, Senior Solutions Engineer at Exasol, the world's best performing data analytics platform. I'm going to show you how Exasol can accelerate time to data by delivering insights at scale. Today, many organizations struggle to tap into the full potential of machine learning because quite simply, it takes them so long to build models and deploy them into production. That's where Exasol can make a difference by fast tracking the data science lifecycle. You may be surprised to learn that we're more than a database. We don't just manage data in this life cycle, we do much more. Let me explain. First, our high performance data platform means we can load data faster than you dare to imagine. Second, accessing and sharing data on-prem or multi-cloud is easy using our virtual schema technology. And third, our platform supports the operationalization of machine learning models at scale. These capabilities are why our customers, some of which are seen here, choose Exasol to keep them ahead in their markets. For today's demo, we're going to turn our attention to analyzing global flood and climate data sets, which gives us a great chance to display these capabilities and begin our investigation in how we can better prepare for natural disasters and reduce the human and economic impact of such events. This is the Exasol SAS UI. For this demo, we've created a database. First of all, we're going to create a cluster. You can choose from many different cluster sizes depending on the amount of data and concurrency your use case requires. Exasol SAS is built natively for the cloud with a modern multi-cluster architecture based on decoupling storage and compute. You can also deploy Exasol wherever your data lives, in an Exasol SAS account, on-premises, or directly to your AWS, Azure, or GCP cloud account for ultimate flexibility. So within a few seconds, we've created our cluster, which you can connect to a broad range of tools in the analytics ecosystem. Next, we need to load the data sets into Exasol. Let's load a variety of data sets to start our data exploration. Here's some OECD and global flood data, as well as GHCN climate data. One way to do this is using Exasol's high performance bulk loader. With a simple command, we can get the data from Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, and many other sources into Exasol. Better yet, let's automate this task in order to remove this manual and repetitive work and give valuable time back to our analysts. Small automation changes add up and turn into big productivity gains over time. Here we are running a script which leverages Exasol's massively parallel processing capabilities to reach out to an S3 bucket and load the latest files in parallel for even faster import performance. Wow, we just loaded over 3 billion records with a B in minutes. This dashboard using AWS QuickSight has been created on top of the data we just loaded in our last step. But don't worry, Exasol connects with any BI tool. This data set consists of over 3 billion records. Now we shift our focus to looking at insights regarding historical climate data in the US and attempt to answer some of the business questions. Now we select United States using this filter. As you can see, the performance of Exasol is quite fast, where we queried a very large data set in real time via a live connection from QuickSight to our Exasol database. As we see in the filtered results, there are many graphs which can be used to understand the impact of various parameters on floods. Let us focus on one state, Kentucky. We can clearly see that the temperature variations don't show any anomalies since the year 1994. However, on the bottom right graph, we can see that until 1964, gauge height has always been consistently above the average line, which is highlighted in red. When applying appropriate ML models, this analysis can help in predicting the possibility of floods. This step helps data science and meteorology teams in selecting the required data as needed. Additionally, users do not need to load all this data into Exasol to query it. They can simply leave the data in a flat file storage like S3 and query it where it resides, as we see in this next example. It's more important than ever for businesses to bring data to their people wherever they are working. For data engineers, data architects, there are multiple types of data management platforms required to support diverse use cases, including those for ML. Using the power of Exasol's virtual schemas, users can leave the data where it resides and query different types of data directly from existing data sources, opening up access to users across the organization without having to move the data and build ETL pipelines. This is particularly important for data scientists. Here you can see we're creating a virtual schema on Exasol's SAS database. In a matter of seconds, data scientists can access an abundance of data locally or in other data sources for their data discovery needs. Let's get back to our analysis. We have obtained an additional data set from the online global flood database. 
This data seems to be manually collected. As we can see from this dashboard, about 85% of the data verification is by news sources, so it is worth to invest additional efforts in automating news analysis. As we can see with this map visual, floods come in various combinations of affected area and severity, such as low severe flood but affecting large area, and high severe flood affecting also a large area. If we can manage to draw some crucial insights from news in real time, it could save not only millions of dollars of infrastructure, but also lives in affected areas. In the next few minutes, we will see how to analyze such news in real time using Exasol. Because news sources are providing crucial information during such flood events, let's automate our news analysis. Now let's create a couple UDFs or user-defined functions entirely written in Exasol to do ETL and ELT processes. This ETL UDF takes news from different news sources and returns it when we call the UDF using basic SQL. As you can see, the output of the UDF is in an ugly JSON format. Such formats are not best suited for data analysis in major BI tools or databases. Hence, we switch gears and do ELT, meaning we extracted the news and convert JSON into tabular format in real time. What is normally a time-consuming manual effort for a valuable data scientist is made easy using Exasol. As you can see, this data is dynamically parsed into a table and analyzable format. In addition to loading the data and analyzing it, we can also apply state-of-the-art machine learning models directly in the database and at scale. As seen here, leveraging a pre-built model from the popular Hugging Face site, we can deploy ML models as UDFs, again all on a familiar SQL query. You can bring your own proprietary models just as easy. For this use case, let's deploy a named entity recognition model. You can simply decide which data set you wish to apply this model to, and Exasol will do everything under the hood to deliver the best performance, all without moving the data. In other words, bring your models to the data and not your data to the models. In this case, we'll apply our Hugging Face model to the news articles we are extracting in real time. We can visualize the outputs of these models in another QuickSight dashboard, which is live querying our Exasol database. As a result, we are able to see the latest news insights in the dashboard. And because we are deploying our model in real time at query runtime, additional insights in our dashboard include named entity recognition. As you can see, this visualization helps us extract named entities such as persons, companies, or financial figures. Let's go back to our database and deploy a sentiment analysis model. Such analysis can be highly helpful in the event of natural disasters to not only save lives, but also to act quickly on saving infrastructure or saving supply chain disruptions. These news articles aren't relating to floods, disaster response, or the like, but it's worth exploring the techniques available to us so we can envision how we can leverage them for a good cause. But we're not stopping there. Modern data architectures, whether a data mesh or fabric, are a hot topic. Our new product augments these approaches as it's the first and only full data warehouse automation solution that allows you to keep pace with your ever-evolving business by drastically reducing the time to market for your data warehouse from weeks to minutes. Our solution enables you to create and most importantly manage a data warehouse based on metadata in the form of your own conceptual model. The conceptual model describes how the data is seen and understood by the business, using objects and references that business stakeholders are familiar with. We are accelerating the time to market in the data warehouse by automating all the complex and time-consuming technical tasks such as data modeling, ELT development, and change management away from the user. Instead of a huge and complex core data model, you are simply working on the conceptual model your business understands. This allows you to focus on adding business critical transformations and metrics instead of technical tasks. By providing the data your reporting and machine learning use cases need much faster and easier than ever before, you enable your data warehouse to move at the speed of your business. This is particularly important for modern data architectures like data mesh or data fabric. We can provide detailed column level data lineage used in a data mesh or data fabric. Creating and managing a data warehouse automatically based on a conceptual model unlocks the ability of the business to provide standardized, high-quality data products with whatever your architecture. We're so excited about the transformative impact of this product.